And ladies and gentlemen, it's Chaos back with you. I'm casting another set here of the IPL. We have Idra, or Idra, sorry, we have MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chaos, and it's happy to bring you another round of the IPL. We have White Raw versus MMA. The map is Shakuris Plateau. Spawning in the bottom right is the Red Terran MMA. And spawning in the bottom left is the blue Protoss White Raw. Now, uh, White Raw's coming off the uh, destruction of Idra, where he lost the first game of the set and came back two games in a row. Incredible set of tactics, motherships, warp prisms, sniping attacks, Dark Templar, um, Archon into a, a warp vortex to destroy a ton of Broodlords. Just so many uh, creative plays there. He stayed true to his special tactics. Now, MMA is uh, no joke. He's one of the uh, top Terrans out of Korea. So this is definitely going to be a test. Um, any Terran match is uh, usually a test for a Protoss or a Zerg. Terran uh, definitely have the majority of the uh, wins right now. If you look at the uh, GSL player pool almost entirely Terrans a couple Zerg and one or two Protoss at this point so Terran are so strong but that's not to say uh, White Raw should be necessarily counted out of this one uh, White Raw definitely being pretty prolific in uh, his use of new tactics and I like how White Raw in his previous games got that warp prism speed really early uh, normally you see players try to get like range for their Colossus first, no he opted just to get the speed for the Warp Prism and he was able to harass just so much. Um, in this uh, opening it doesn't look like uh, White Raw is going to do a Forge Fast Expand which is, uh, is a pretty common opening on this map. So he's doing something a little bit safer, maybe uh, just a one gate expand with some sentry backing, it's hard to say at this point. Uh, Cyber next core about halfway done at this point, so we'll have a pretty good sense pretty soon what he's going to be up to. He hasn't taken his second gas yet, so I don't know if we're just talking about like a four gate play or not. Usually that gas timing is uh, pretty indicative of what the player is going to do. Um, it looks like uh, MMA though gearing up for some kind of bio push. Concussive shell about halfway done, and he started Marauder production. So he might be going for a uh, timing attack here. Um, White Raw is moving some units across the uh, map here. And the second that Concussive Shell finishes, this uh, Zealot will be uh, as good as dead. Um, he does have the uh, tower under his control, so uh, temporarily uh, White Raw has vision and uh, can really keep an eye on what MMA decides to do. And wow, uh, White Rock going for a uh, very early robotics bay. So you might be uh, vying to get a quick immortal, or you might be uh, deciding to get maybe a quick warp prism again. It's a little unusual to see one gate robo, and then uh, he's going to back it with two more gateways behind it. And I'm just uh, curious to see uh, how this build's going to turn out. And MMA is opting to get an expansion. MMA uh, could be in a little bit of trouble here if uh, White Raw deflects this attack. White Raw might have a lot of trouble holding this though. He only has a, a Stalker and maybe a one Zealot on the map here. And uh, he's going to need some brilliant micro here. And if he loses that pylon, he's going to be completely shut down. And Bunker on the way. I don't know if that's the uh, White Decision. Oh my god. And if uh, that pylon goes down, he's going to lose all his production. And uh, more units are coming in. And he was able to deny that bunker going down and uh, kept the pylon alive. So the pylon might get sniped here. And the uh, production facilities have been uh, taken out. He's been able to defend this though, so uh, White Rouse is going to be in good shape. 
And he's going to be in a pretty good uh, position to do a counterattack because he does have that warp prism. But um, great defend by White Raw and uh, have forcing a uh, bunker to go down right away. But um, White Raw just warps into the back of the base. He's going to be in a good position here. But I think MMA has already spotted the warp prism, so it might go down right away. And wow. White Raw spotted out already. And a whole bunch of zealots are warping in. And he's dropping right in the mineral line with the uh the zealots are in there ravaging um all the workers. And w wow, uh White Raw is starting to do a lot of damage with all these zealots. And the War Prism uh, still stays alive as well. And um, MMA forced to pull away all of those uh, SCVs. His production is just garbage right now. And uh, Stalker Backbone coming in as well. MMA is taking huge damage. I think MMA is pretty close to being done here. Um, so much economy has been lost. Um... MMA is doing a good job of trying to keep his units alive, but I just don't know how he's going to uh, rebound from this. There's just so much damage is being done. And uh, the Warp Prism has been taken out at this point. And even if just a couple more SCVs could be taken out, uh, White Raw did huge damage. And MMA is down to 8 SCVs to 28 Harvesters for White Raw. White Raw was able to expand behind all this harass. And uh, great play, and another Warp Prism, ironically, on the way. So this pressure is not going to hold up any time. And wow, we might have a dropped game here. These games are being um, casted live right now, so I'm kind of at the mercy of the stream here. And this uh, is not looking good. This game might get dropped here. Um, once again, I do apologize. Uh, it looks like this game might be dropped, so this whole replay might be a little bit of a joke at this point. Oh, thank god it wasn't the actual user watching this game. Um, so the battle continues here. And this War Prism is um, heading out. And the One Marine does see it. And the drop is heading in. Uh, this one looks like it's being a little bit more botched, but damage is still being done, and Marines are skyrocketing in. But those eight SCVs that he had are being uh, carved up as we speak. And White Raw is still harassing away with all of these Zealots, and just having like so much pressure. Um, Immortal is on the way for White Raw, so he's starting to get some tech behind him, all this aggression. And really keeping MMA tied down to just his natural expansion. And uh, we have 29 workers have been taken out. Um, White Raw has just done so much damage. Um, I think he just needs to mass up here and just do uh, one good focus attack. Um, not let MMA get back into this game. And we have a uh, Twilight Council on the way. And the drops just keep on happening here. Uh, White Raw being so annoying with these Zealots. And mules and SCVs are just being taken out. And uh, MMA must be uh, getting incredibly frustrated here. Um, he's doing a good job cleaning up the drops, but the damage is just happening so much. And he's not focusing down that warp prism, so I guess he's undervaluing uh, how much damage it's really doing. And it looks like he might start trying to harass this natural too, because that's uh, where most of his production is left. So 
So the uh, main is pretty cleaned out, and I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, White Raw move a Warp Prism into the uh, natural there and just shut it right down. Um, White Raw does need to make sure he gets some units back at home, though. And he is expanding a couple more gates there, and uh, charge is on the way, so these Zealots are going to be devastating. Oh my god, we're going to have an Immortal Drop! Uh, I haven't seen this move since beta, to be honest with you. Um, this is going to be so strong. Um, these immortal are beasts. Um, Stim has finished. So he has a little bit of medevac support here. Oh my god, he might lose the warp prism though with all the immortals. But he manages to keep the immortals um, alive though. I don't know if I'll White Rod traded effectively there, but he's just so far ahead. Um, charge just about to wrap up though. And White Raw is gearing up uh, for a strong push. Look at all of those Zealots coming up, and the uh, bunker defense is pretty uh, pathetic by MMA at this point. Um, he's not expecting a uh, fight right up the front. And it looks like MMA is thinking about doing a drop himself. And the Zealots are moving in, but the counter drop is happening at White Raw's base, but White Raw manages to pull his units right away. Oh my god, White Raw blunders a little bit. And the Supply Depot doesn't go up, and GG MMA is down his first game. White Raw taking a uh, crazy victory there. Manages to hold the early game pressure and then uh, show some real special tactics there. And I'm just excited to see uh, another game from White Raw. He's been so 